Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. One of my subscribers asked me if I could make a video showing how to make one of these small springs to be used on the spear gun trigger mechanism. The thing is, I didn't make those springs, it was actually a gift from the local diving store, but I think I have a way to make a similar spring. You see, I got this steel rope and the very thin wires that this rope is made of, it's almost the same diameter as this spring. The spring is made from 0.44 millimeters diameter wire and uh, the rope, the wire diameter is 0.41 millimeters. So the difference is minimal. So first I'm going to remove a single wire from the, the steel rope, about half a meter or so, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm going to use a drill, my power drill, to wrap this wire around the drill to create the inside diameter of the spring. I got a single wire out of the steel rope, but as you can see it's very wavy. So I'm going to spend some time and trying to make it as straight as possible, because that will help make a better spring. It's a little bit better. So now I'm going to start wrapping it around the, um, the drill. I'm measuring the spring and the outside diameter is 3.9. The inside is 3 mil. And to wrap the wire, I'll use this drill. It's a 2.75 millimeter diameter. The drill needs to be a little bit undersized because once it, the wire is wrapped around and the tension is released, the spring will expand. I start wrapping the wire around the drill by hand. And now I clamp it on my hand drill. And the other hand, I'm going to clamp it in the vise. Now I have one end clamped in the vise and the other one on the drill. Now with the power drill set to a low speed, I'm going to start wrapping the wire all the way around. Here's the wire all wrapped up around the drill. I'm going to do another one off camera. It's very difficult to working the power drill and at the same time focusing the camera to get a close shot. So I think um, without worrying about the camera, I think I can do a better one. This one here, the loops are a little bit too loose and that will make a weaker spring. And there's the second spring. On this one here, the coils are tied together, so this will be a stronger spring. 
And now I'll cut the excess wire and I'll make the loops one on each end. And here it is, a couple of springs made from the steel rope wire. Overall, I'm very pleased with the results. The top one, that's the original one. This middle one, that was the first one I made. And the bottom one was the second one. This one turned out pretty good. It's not as strong as the, f the original one, but the loops are tied together. And when it stretches, it retains the original shape. That's very important. So for now I gotta say thanks for watching my videos once again, leave a comment, rate the video, don't forget to subscribe, it will mean a lot to me, and I'll see you next time on Mr. My Videos for you. Bye bye.